Hey everybody, Mr. B here. I just want to do a quick review about finding the mean or the average in a set of data. Today we collected some data. What we collected was uh, the amount of text messages that students sent per day. So we had students write down uh, the names of other students and how many text messages that they sent per day and we worked on how to find the average or the mean of that data. The basics of finding average are to find the sum of all of your data. In this case, when we added up all 16 of these answers or responses, we got 478. There are 16 total responses, and so if we divide the total number of text messages sent by the number of responses of 16, we get a answer of 29.8, uh, which is our average number of texts sent per day. So a little bit more goes into it, obviously, than that. We've got to come up with a good strategy uh, to add up a lot of numbers at one time. And so what we did was uh, we did them in, in chunks. And so instead of adding up all 16 at once, we grouped them uh, and added them up in chunks to make it easier and to make sure that we didn't make any mistakes. Um, we see the four groups that we did that there. Then we put um, all of those together to get our total of 478. And then over here you'll see where the next step is to very simply take that 478 and divide it by the total number of 16 people who responded. And that gets us 29.8. We don't really send 0.8 of a text, but it rounds to 30. So we would probably say that it's about 30 per day. Um, but the actual math answer, if we were gonna get technical, we could use that decimal 29.8. So this can be used um, to find the average or the mean of any set of data. It's the same system over and over again. Uh, for example, a real easy, easy example is if, if we just had three numbers. For example, if we had 30 and 15 and 25. Uh, if those were numbers in a data set, and they could be for anything. It could be the number of texts sent in a day. It could be um, anything that you want it to be. The formula for finding the average or uh, the mean is to add those up. So we could do that however we wanted to. In this case, it's easy to add all three since there's only three pieces of data. And we would get 70. Now we're gonna take that 70 and divide it by the number of pieces of data that we have. We have one, two, three pieces of data. So we're gonna divide it by three and we can do that pretty easily. looks like here we're going to end up with a repeating decimal each time uh, we're going to get three as we divide and we're just going to keep ending up getting 0 0.3333333 so the average in the set of data that contains 30 and 15 and 25 the average between those three numbers is 23 Point three three repeating. So all we do is find the total of uh, the sum of all the numbers in our set and divide that total by however many numbers there were in that set of data. And it works for um, big data sets and small data sets. Uh, and that's the very basics of calculating uh, the mean or the average of a set of data. Hope this helps and uh, we'll practice it more in class.